Hi everyone, I'm Jim and welcome to the review of Firestorm, the second EP by the band Earth Crisis. Today we might be celebrating the 30th anniversary of the record, I am not sure, but I wanted to go back and see if it still holds up or not. My story with this band is quite simple, I've stumbled upon their music video for the song Provoke back in the year 2000 or 2001. I was like 3 or 4 years old, but it left a big impression on me and the second time it was on TV I just recorded it on VHS tapes and I would just replay that song all of the time because it had energy and passion, I just enjoyed every second of that song. Years later, when I finally got the internet in 2008, I've decided to check out their entire discography and what a journey that was. Earth Crisis is probably the most consistent band I know. Everything they release is top notch and I truly enjoy their music, the vocals and the lyrics. Before we start the review, I just want to say that this EP has 4 songs, as you can see, but there's also a demo version of it that has 8 of them. So I will be reviewing this thing and the official EP. Lineup for this record is Carl on the vocals, he's the founding member, Benjamin on lead guitar, this is his final release with the band, Scott on the guitar as well, he's still with the band, and Dennis on the drums, it's his first record with the band and he's also the member to this day. The production on this EP is tight, it's clean but heavy, I love how the guitars and the drums sound like, the demo on the other hand has alright production, it's not bad but it's not good either. Message is diverse, this is actually the most important thing about this band, the message. The lyrics are very anti-drug related because the band members are straight edge, which means they don't do drugs, they don't drink alcohol, they don't smoke, stuff like that. I love those lyrics because I'm straight edge myself. And this record and the next of this band actually helped me become the person I am today. So this thing is important to me. The lyrics on this record are very militant and they sound like a call to arms to just remove the drug filth from the streets, same as the drug cartels and you know stuff like that. I truly enjoy this message. The other songs also explore different topics, like Unseen Holocaust is about Christians killing indigenous tribes. Other songs like Forged in the Flames are about the straight edge lifestyle and Eden's Demise is about ecological disaster, which is our planet. The songs from the demo like The Order and Ecocide continue that ecological message and when it comes to songs like Goddess of Death and Forced to Kill, I am not sure what they are about because I couldn't find any lyrics online. Structure of the songs is between basic and advanced, it depends on the song. Basic structure is intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, outro, and advanced has way more segments. There might be just one verse and then the other verse is completely different, new music, new words. Music on this record is very interesting because it's a mix of hardcore punk and metal, which basically invented metalcore, so this might be the first metalcore release. I am not sure, but many people say it is. It's not the metalcore of today, you know, it's the old school metalcore. Most of the people call it metallic hardcore these days. Street by street, block by block, they get it all in, they have submerged in poison. Sorry, but I just love the intro to the song Firestorm, which starts the EP. The first thing you're going to notice here is the drumming. It's stellar throughout the entire record, not just this song. Next is the bass. It's handled by the guitarist and it's audible, but it mostly follows the guitars. Then you have the guitar work, which is actually quite stellar. We've got those chunky zeros, do doom, do doom. Some more lead guitar work that reminds me of Slayer for some reason. But it's great, you know, I enjoy every guitar riff on this record. And finally, we have the vocals by Carr. Carr is one of the most interesting vocalists. His lyrics hit hard, and they are the truth but his vocals changed over the years, like on the first EP, All Out War, 
he sounded more punkish and had energy to his voice. Then on the demo, he started shouting more metallic, I would say, more angry. And while recording this EP, you can kind of feel that his voice is fatigued. It's not 100% there. So I must say that the vocal performance on this record is great, but it's one of the weakest by him. After this EP he apparently lost his voice and on Destroy the Machines, the first studio record, he sounded the worst. Like, he still sounded fine, but it was his weakest performance ever, but then he regains his voice for the second record, Gomorrah Seasons Ends, and there he sounds fantastic. And after that, I think like in the year 1997, he was on top of his game because listen to Broken Foundation live version from 1997. That stuff is phenomenal. His voice was so angry, so crisp. He sounded like a demon, so that stuff is perfect. Then on the two next records, Breed the Killers and Slitter, he still sounds fantastic. Then the band broke up. He started Freya. He still sounded great there, but when Earth Crisis reunited and did To The Death record, like, the power in his voice doubled, and he still sounds amazing to this day, at least on the studio recordings. But I saw some live shows from 2022, and they still sounded great, so yeah, the vocals are perfect, but just not on this EP. On this EP they are just great. They are fine, but if you want to hear superior versions of these songs, I urge you to check out the later performances, like from 1997, 2001, even 2009 or 2017 in some cases. It just sounds better vocally. This song, Firestorm, is a legendary song, I love every second of it. This track basically kickstarted the whole metalcore genre and there is no part here that I wouldn't love, the lyrics are killer, same as the guitar work and the drumming, the bass is fine, the vocals, they are good, and when it comes to the demo version that came out a few months before this one, I must say that it's better to me. It sounds like they are playing it faster, more intense, and the vocals are more pissed off, so the EP version is 10 out of 10, the demo version 11 out of 10. But overall this track is a classic and I don't know how anyone could hate it. Then we have Forged in the Flames and when it comes to the instrumental work it's perfect. It's not as fun as Firestorm but I still dig the guitar riffs, especially the bridge part. But I must say that the vocal performance here is not as good, you know? And when it comes to the demo version it's even worse. But I still dig this track, you know, I love the message, the lyrics and the grooves, so 9 out of 10 and the demo version is 8 out of 10. Unseen Holocaust is my second favorite song on this record, I just love the instrumental work, while the intro and the main guitar riff isn't that great to me, the rest of the song is, like the pre-chorus, the chorus stuff, the bridge part, I just love all of those guitar riffs and melodies. The vocals, great, same as the lyrics. If you want to hear a better version of this song, check out the 1997 live version. It has more power when it comes to the vocals. Still, 10 out of 10. Eden's Demise, now this song actually makes me quite sad when I think about the lyrics, where our planet is headed towards. But I truly enjoy the guitar riffs, the drumming, the overall performance is amazing. But what the hell is going with the vocals here? Like, Carr is having some effect on his voice? Like, listen to this song. Why is that effect there? Please remove it. So yeah, better to listen to the live version of this song than this studio one. But still, the song is great here. 9 out of 10. And now, we have tracks from the demo that weren't present on the EP. The first one is called The Order. And a fun fact for you, this song... Broken Foundation and Provoke are my all-time favorite Earth Crisis songs. The Order has a fantastic intro. It's a very long build-up that pays off. The guitar riffs are just so memorable and one of a kind. 
and then you have that break where fuck you dog robot and i just love the lyrics here about our planet but I must say that this version from 1993 doesn't have a good vocal performance to me. It's it's just uh, meh. So yeah, the version on the last of the same compilation, which I think is from the year 1994, because it was included on a compilation from 1995. The next version, which was like recorded a year later, blows out this version. This version is just Okay, the instrumental work is still great, the vocals, the vocals are going to be better on the next version, so 8 out of 10, but in my heart that final version of The Order is 12 out of 10, it's a classic song. Goddess of Death is one of the songs they haven't re-recorded yet, I don't know why, I truly enjoy the guitar riffs here, the overall atmosphere is very oppressive, I don't know what the lyrics are about, but I truly enjoy the vocal performance here and the entire song is just great, please make a remake of this one, I would love to hear it with better vocals, 8 out of 10. Ecocide, now this is the second version of this song, and a fun fact for you guys, this song has like 3 versions because it's on All Out War from 1992, it's here on the 1993 demo, and it's on the third studio record Breed the Clairs, and I must say that every version has something special about it. Like, the first version has amazing vocals, I must say. Those punkish vocals by her are just so fun, but the production on the instruments isn't that great. Here it's the other way around, I truly enjoyed the instrumental work, but the vocals could have sounded better. They are kinda muffled, but that's to be expected because this is just a demo. And then on the third studio record, the instrumental work like, it's just fine, like even this demo sounds more inspired, but the vocals are bonkers, the vocals are great, so yeah, every version has something different to offer and it's fun in its own right. So I enjoy this song a lot, especially the cool intro which is very melodic and then we have that classic hardcore power to it. Great song, 9 out of 10, forced to kill. Now this is one of the highlights from the demo, I don't know why this one wasn't re-recorded but it sounds fantastic, especially the main guitar riff, it's very evil sounding and sinister, the vocals are so angry, please remake this one as well. 9 out of 10, Behind the Mask, now this song was actually remade in 2015 on the Discipline EP, I truly enjoyed that EP, go check it out. It also has a song called Time of Strife, which is a classic, I love that one. And Time of Strife was apparently recorded for this demo as well, but the band lost it, so no one has heard it since like 1993, it's not on the demo. They have Time of Strife that was recorded like a year or two years later or some shit. Behind the Mask, great song, very fast, straight to the point. It's angry, pissed off, I love the vocals here. I must say that the re-recorded version has better vocals, but the overall performance by the band is better here on the demo. Like, it's too polished on the EP. 9 out of 10. And the final song, Night of Justice. This is a demo of the song from the first album called The Wrath of Sanity, but here the main riff is slightly different. It sounds more Slayerish, I would say. I love this track and the Wrath of Sanity, one of my personal favorites. So yeah, this is a great track when it comes to the lyrics, vocals, music. It's great. But I do enjoy the Wrath of Sanity 1997 live version the most. This one is just great. 9 out of 10. To sum it up, the consistency is stable, the flow is fitting, groupability. Yeah, it's a masterpiece. I love this EP from the beginning to the end. Sure, it only has 4 songs, but those songs, man, they are just fantastic, Firestorm and Unseen Holocaust are wow. Eden's Demise, it's perfect when it comes to the music, but it could have had better vocals, I don't like that effect on Carl's voice. And Fortune the Flames, great music, ok vocals, I must say that this is a piece of history, this is a journey where the lyrics are just as important as the music and it all just works. 
I urge you to listen to this stuff. If you don't enjoy the vocals for some reason or think they aren't brutal enough, then I urge you to listen to the live versions because they are much more energetic and more emotional, I would say. But this stuff is still fun. And when it comes to the 1993 demo, it's almost as good as the EP. Could have had better production and some of the vocals are muffled, but I must say that this is also great music. I, I just don't understand how they had so many great songs and they've decided to put just four on the EP. And then like, you have the first record from 1995 and The Order is not there, Goddess is not there, Force to Kill is not there, and Behind the Mask is also not there. They just had so many great songs that they just left them off. I hope they are going to re-record every demo like from the past because I want to hear it in all of its glory. So yeah, celebrate the anniversary by spinning this record today. It deserves your love and attention. Happy 30 years to Firestorm, great stuff. And that's all from me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram, it's in the description. I will see you in my other videos. Bye!